I wish I would have been able to start sooner and I highly encourage students if they want to do research the sooner you get involved in especially if it's something you're really passionate about if you could get involved with it sooner than later um, I'm hoping I could you know continue working I would even volunteer to continue working I would love to see them. we're looking at water uh, because there's a glacier in the park called Cotopaxi Glacier and it is the main source of water for about 200,000 people in the area so there's concerns about climate change and the effects of climate change on land cover shifting and environmental uh, degradation due to climate change and the effects of climate change and also primarily concerned about water resources for the future because the, the region is expecting high temperature increases in within the next within this decade so it will affect water availability for all those people and for growing crops and things like that and all of this on in gis geographic information systems using that program and we'll be able to overlay all this information and see how land cover has changed through that. gis is a geographic information science um, I guess the most, the thing that people mostly identify with is Google Maps. That's mm -hmm. a GIS implementation. So really what it is, is it's spatial research, it's spatial analysis. While I was in the GIS class, I was like, the more I learned about it, the more impressed I was with the application and how profound it was for aiding us in discovering information that we don't know. And so I, when I went to the presentation and heard Dr. Lopez and talk about his project, it's environmental, it's looking at climate change, the effects of it, and also helping people prepare for what could possibly come. So that was highly inspiring. And to see what he was doing and to see the depth of it was, wow, mm -hmm. I want to I work on it.